What is going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be going over some things that will crucially improve your Call of Duty Vanguard experience. And I want to give credit to this guy right here, Subliners on TikTok. Be sure to go give him a follow. Everything that I'm about to tell you, all these settings are completely his findings. This is nothing to do with me. I'm simply passing this information forward because these simple few things that I learned that he did has improved my experience of this game so, so much. Things are so much easier to see and I'm really enjoying the game a lot more because of these. So if you do enjoy the video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you are new around here. And I do stream right here every Wednesday and Friday, so be sure to swing by sometime. It's a lot of fun. And again, be sure to go follow him on TikTok. But with all of that said, man, let's just dive right into it. So for number one, you want to go to your settings and you want to scroll over to graphics and then you want to come down to color customization right here. Click it. And the first thing you want to change is this color filter. You want to take it from none or whatever you've got it on to filter two. And then for the color filter target, you want to change that to both. And then for the HUD color palette, change that to Trentinopia. That is my best attempt at pronouncing that. And then for the colors of yourself, take it from that to that light greenish right there. From the team color, you're leaving that the same. Party color, you're leaving that the same. And then the enemy color, change it from that pink to the one before the last on the right pink. Hope that makes sense, but you see it right there. Once you got that, you can back out of there and then scroll down to camera movement right here. The default should be 100%, but you wanna move it all the way down to 50%. If you read the description right there, it gets rid of that camera shake a little bit. And then I talked about this a couple videos ago. Be sure to turn both of these motion blurs off. It does nothing but make things harder to see. Uh, most people probably know to turn that off, but definitely be sure to do that. Also something that I should mention that he mentioned in that video, but I, it didn't really apply to me because I'm not on PC. And so I obviously don't have the settings, so I can't show you. But if you have a PC with an NVIDIA graphics card, you're going to have a setting that says NVIDIA Reflex Low Latency, and it's probably going to be off. So be sure to turn that on. And then for the last setting, we want to go right here to Fidelity FX. CAS and you want to turn this on and then you want to hit show more and turn that all the way up One thing I want to say about this setting though is every time I get back on the game Like I go to bed and then wake up the next day and get on and it's the same thing for depth of field Actually, I usually turn depth of field off and for whatever reason this will be on and this one will be turned off I'm not sure why it does it anytime I restart the game it changes that and you might have that glitch too, so be sure to check that every time you get on. You're going to notice the great changes the first match you play. I'll give you the before and after right here. It, it really is crazy how much of an effect it has. I went from having a subpar experience with this game to really, really enjoying it now. A little bit of a shorter video today, but I saw that video and I changed it and I just saw the difference that it made for me. So I definitely wanted to be sure to pass that information forward, do my part, and hopefully have you guys enjoy the game a little bit more too. And again, another huge shout out to Subliners for finding this thing. I've been a console player my whole life, and basically with console, you know, it's just kind of play the game. I know on PC, you have like tons of different settings that you can change. So this is a little bit different for me, and I really had no clue that these things needed to be changed, but thank God that I know now. But if you guys did enjoy this video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you are new around here. And again, I stream right here every Wednesday and Friday. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will catch you in the next video. Peace.